my name is Rustin Levinson, and I'm a consultant for art care conservation in Miami, New York, and LA. We've been working with the Kummer Museum for many years. We've done assessments of the collection, and during that time was the first time I saw the Rubens painting. There's a theory that it was painted in 1604, so it certainly has some age to it. This was a period when Rubens uh, was in Italy, and it's almost believed, not proven, that it was uh, commissioned by the Cardinal as a small devotional piece. It's a small painting. But there was a label on the back of the painting in Italian, a picture that is located in the collection uh, Constabile Colonia, given to me Giuseppe Cades in the year 1798, depicting the Pieta by Peter Paul Rubens. That tells you that Giuseppe was an artist and he got the painting from the Colonna collection. There was a lot of retouching. Uh, there was a vandalism that occurred at one time. It was in um, pretty rough shape. It was exhibitable, but now it's much more exhibitable because a lot has been repaired. So when the painting came to the studio, the first steps were examining the painting closely. We did radiography. We have a gentleman that came and did an x-ray of it. Then we did an infrared photograph, which was much more revealing. We could see that one of the saints had had her face redrawn a little bit. It also showed a lot of where the retouching was. It showed a lot of where the old damage was. And it was a great guide to use as I was working on the painting because I could really see in every area what was going on. The main thing uh, that came next was the testing to see what solvents would remove the varnish, would remove the surface dirt. Uh, we have very tiny swabs to do micro-testing on works of art. So we were able to identify a good solution to remove the varnish, uh, and then we could see where all the damages were at that point. There were some that needed filling. We used a gesso to fill the losses. And then the retouching was actually lifting some of those dark spots to make the composition work better, to make the background sit in the background and the foreground come forward, to make the faces seem more well-formed. So a lot of that was done with a tiny, tiny brush and just the tip of the brush and a little color that just uh, reduced those things that were not really part of the composition. I think it's important for conservators to work with collectors and with museums to be sure that collections have the best care possible. We make a report both for ourselves and for the next conservator that comes along in 20 or 50 years. One of our goals in the studio is to see that the works we treat and the works that we're responsible for get to the next generation. It's an emotional piece about the death of Christ. As you can see, the expressions on the faces. Rubens wasn't even 30 years old when he painted it. It's an amazing work.